So, hello everybody, this is an update to a video I did a couple years ago. Um, it was one of my scraper bikes I did. Um, unfortunately that one broke and a couple more I had broke. But this one's my latest one, it's a Mongoose XR75. Um, obviously a scraper bike. Uh, but this one's a little different. Um, most people do their designs on the outside wheel only, but I did this one on the outside and the inside. Uh, when I turn the light on a few, you'll see what I'm talking about. But for now, I'll take you for a little tour here. Let's unscrew the camera here and I'll show you what it looks like. It's just a little close up here, and uh, you can kind of see the wheel designs a little bit. It's black on the outside and red on the inside. The bike itself is a black and red bike. I came up with this idea. Um, I was just bored one day. And I was like, what can I do this bike to make it somewhat seeable at night? So, as you can see, maybe a little overkill, but at least I'll be seen at night. Can't say much for the haters, because they're the ones who get hit. Anyway, as you can see, the front is very bright. I have high beams as well as a specifically designed type of headlight, which has white lights, red and blue flashing lights, which I'll show you here. Oops, push this button here, turns into a red and blue flasher, I have those on all four sides of the bike, I usually keep the bright ones on though, obviously so I can be seen at night, um, I originally designed this bike as a Knight Rider kit bike, it's, if you've never seen the show, it's a good show, I'm working on a voice module for this bike, uh, it will talk soon, but for right now it's just all lights. Um, neon lights wrapped around the frame, um, a special type of Christmas light wrapped around with alternating colors that flash and sometimes strobe. Um, we have a laser trail here. This is good for when people see at night, they can uh, know where to stay away from you at. Um, multiple tail lights here. Like I said, if I get hit at night, it's a crime shame. Now I will turn the light on here and let's see a day shot of it, or a, a shot with light anyway. Okay, as you can see, I'll go back to the wheel design here. It took about 18 hours straight to design both the front and the back wheels. Very tedious, but in the end I actually like the end result. As you can see, the bike itself is a mongoose might be hard to see past the lights but the frame is black and red I'll shut all the lights off momentarily so you can see the actual color of the bike um, like I said the designs are great um, both sides of the wheel have red foil inside of them so the light from the left side of the bike will reflect on the right side as well as the left because it bounces back and forth between the foil and this is also good from the side shot uh, at night people won't hit you um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, like I said, it's just a certain basic scraper bike. Um, take another wide shot here. As you can see, the black and red. And I will cut all the lights off here. So I can show you the color of the actual frame. Total is about 50 batteries. Each light has its own power source. Um, I recently put it in the Guinness Book of World Records to see if I can break a record for the most lights and batteries on a mountain bike. Uh, hopefully that one's successful. And let's see. It takes a long time to shut this bike down. Alright. That one. That one. That one. This bike, uh, jokingly, um, I feel it has a curse because it breaks every time there's a major event in the area and I'm always left without a bike. But I think now I'm good to go. Okay, almost got all of them cut off here. Just gotta cut off my wheel blinker over here. Every part of this bike has a light on it. Any place you can imagine it has a light. Like I said, I was extremely bored one night, as you can see. 
Okay, other than the Knight Rider light, or Larson scanner, depends on how you want to see it. The bike is completely shut down, and now you can look out the color of the bicycle and the wheels. Like I said, the frame is red and black, and Mongoose XR75. This is the only Mongoose in America with this decoration type. So, I'm the only one with it. So, I guess you can say it's a classic, a legend, or whatever you want to call it. And the cool thing I like about it, when you cut the lights out, with all the other lights on except for the, light, the scanner, you get this result. So I can only imagine myself in a dark alley and this, uh, someone walking up and just seeing this. And this light is also programmable. I can change speeds as well as color intensity. This is slow. This is medium. And of course fast. I usually like to keep it on fast because in the day people can't really see this when it's going slow. But when it's going fast, they can see it better. And if I hold the button, it decreases the intensity. So this would be really good if I'm sitting in an alley and want to scare somebody. Of course, I'd have it going about the speed right there. But that's my scraper bike. It's a total, took about 60 hours combined to get it to where it is today. So, hope you like this video. Thanks, have a good day. Bye-bye.